Hey guys, it is day six here in Cuba and uh, we are still staying at the Milia Keo Guimero and Gromero, we just discovered, is the name of Ernest Hemingway's friend. And uh, they used to come here fishing all the time, so they named this island Guelmo. And of course, they named the hotel after the island. So I wanna take you guys through a walkthrough now that I've been here for five, six days, and uh, just show you around the things that I've uh, been around, things that I'm kind of familiar with and uh, I might tell you some of the ups and some of the downs of this place and most of them are up. Uh, there are a few little downers but let's go check it out. All right, as you can see this is the front entrance into the lobby. Almost all uh, hotels in Cuba are kind of designed this way where it's all open concept. Uh, off to the left is where you would check in. Uh, you can also get your internet cards there they're about a dollar or one cuban peso per card and you get about an hour's worth of internet on that card you just have to log in uh, you can also exchange your money at this point uh, money money rate is 68 cents per dollar so if you give them a hundred dollars canadian they'll give you 68 convertible pesos uh, lots of lounging sitting areas Beautiful entranceway. Our room is just up there. No elevators. Off to the right here is the lobby bar. And uh, you can get really nice kind of pressed coffee that you might be familiar with uh, for Starbucks and stuff like that. So they'll make pretty much any drink you want. You can get upgraded drinks. Uh, this costs money. I'm not sure. I haven't had an upgraded drink. I haven't needed an upgraded drink. Off to the left is where trams at or whatever airline you fly in. This is where they'll have their meetings. There's also a pool table. And Ernest Hemingway, um, they have a statue of Ernest Hemingway. Another pool table, lounging area. Guest services are here. There's an internet room over here, but I have not seen anybody in it. It's, I guess just in case you needed a computer as opposed to using your phone. The washrooms are off to the left. Men's and women's, they usually have photo, like pictures of men and women so you, can, so you don't have to necessarily read Spanish. Once again, very, very pretty. I'm super happy that they recovered as well as they have from the hurricane they had last year or the year before as you can see all the trees are not knocked down which is what I was kind of expecting when we came here there's another lounging area over here sometimes they have loud music and then we've got a huge pool it's kind of divided into two or three pools but you can swim through the whole thing if you want uh, off to the left is where the three meals a day cafe is we'll take the long way around I'll try and show you the a la carte and things too. Everything's kind of split up from here, so it's hard to uh, take you in every direction at the same time. Look at this pool, they got some fish, turtles. Hola. Hola. So you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the buffet. It doesn't really change up too much from day to day. But every morning we've been having omelets. They'll make omelets to your request. And uh, at night time they'll have meat, selected meats or, or fish. Same with lunch. So if you, just, if you don't mind that kind of buffet every single day, then that's the place to go. They also have a juice bar and then a pancake, French toast bar. And I think it's closed right now. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock, so they're changing over to lunch, so I don't think I can go in there. Uh, so it is, there are rooms at ground level, second and third floor, and it's funny. So our room is right there. Uh, sorry, that one right there. And uh, our door doesn't lock, and almost everybody I've talked to, the door, sliding door doesn't lock. So always keep your valuables in the safe that they have in the room because somebody could just jump over and go into your room if they wanted to. Like, we haven't had any issues whatsoever with, with uh, theft or anything, so I would never worry about that. There's Carol. Hi. And so they have a swim up bar. And a waterfall. 
bridges. Ping pong if you so desire. Outdoor shower if you want to shower off from the beach or the pool. They have three a la carte restaurants uh, and a 24 hour restaurant. And so this is the 24 hour restaurant. You can get food there 24 hours a day. I'm pretty sure you can get drinks there 24 hours a day as well. So again, there's the lobby. Got these nice little bridges going over the water. Uh, there is a a la carte restaurant there. They Every once in a while they change them up, so I can't really tell you which restaurant's which, but they have a, a Cuban theme, a Mediterranean theme, and an international theme. So we've eaten in there once. We've eaten in this one once, well, actually last night. Uh, and it was, the food's amazing. Like everything we've had, they're small portions. So if you're if you're a big eater, it's just they're small portions, but it's, sometimes it's like a six course meal. So by the time you're finished eating everything, it's you're you're pretty much done. Uh, but if you're still hungry, you can go over to the buffet and eat as much as you want. So that's the way down to the pool. I mean to the beach. And that's the third restaurant there, that big building at the end. I'll walk you over there. I just want to try and cover as much around here as possible. So there's the inside of this a la carte. Again, the grounds are beautiful. They kept them pristine even though they have crazy storms here. Oh, and there's a massage area. Uh, ladies will approach you when you're sitting around the pool or on the beach and ask you if you want a massage. So there's one on location. There are always um, locals that will be wandering the beach and they'll wanna give you a massage. So it's up to you which way you wanna go with that. Once again, that's the lobby. I'm kind of trying to reorient yourself, uh, and reorient you. Uh, so the lobby's there. You can walk across here. Again, that's one of the a la cartes. It says tennis court. I haven't seen the tennis court, but it doesn't say it. It doesn't exist. Sometimes these doors are open just to peek in. Yeah, it's locked. So really nice place settings. You can have house wine or you can upgrade to your favorite bottle of wine. And of course, the price varies from $9 all the way up. So this was the international. And it does tell you 6.30 to, I think, 10. So after we would have dinner, we would sit there, have a couple drinks, and then wait for the shows to start. Every single night, pretty much, they've been having live theater, dance. It's, a, it's I think it's the smallest theater I've seen out of all the hotels that I've been to. It is a small hotel, that's probably why. Makes sense. So this is where people come at nighttime to watch theater, and they are pretty good shows that they put on the same, I don't know, eight dancers or every single night. They're also sometimes in the uh, buffet restaurant opening doors for you at nighttime to kind of remind you that there's a show going on. And they're welcoming, welcoming you. So obviously there's washrooms on this side, that's good. Didn't notice that before. So I'll walk you towards the beach. Hopefully this is giving you a really good rundown of the grounds and the facilities that they have here. I hope I didn't miss anything. If you've been here before and I've missed something that you thought would be important, just leave in the comments. That would be great. I appreciate that. I'm going to take you across the island. We're going to be coming into some uh, copyrighted music, so 
I'll probably have to put my own music over this. Here, got some seating. Nice swim up all. You have to like swim along the shore if you don't want water to get into your drink. You just want to get in there and come out. Little tips. So again, this is where you can get drinks and food anytime you want. Massage sign, didn't notice that before. I believe you can rent bikes, but I think they give you an hour a day uh, with your package. So you can just sign it out, go for a ride. Not a whole lot of places for you to go except the grounds and possibly over to the next thing for the hour and if you go over that I guess they charge you but they got postcards and trinkets and things this is the third a la carte uh, they also open this for lunch I forgot to tell you so we've had lunch there a couple times and the food was amazing here's uh, the beach bar and it is open there's a guy there so he's getting his drink apparently Yesterday was Cuba Day and we missed the pig roast, I just realized. Nice big gazebo for weddings. Pictures, photography, whatever. I'm sure these would be really expensive or maybe an upgrade so that you can have your own little spot there and then look out to the beach. I didn't notice that before either. And I'm not sure, I don't think that's part of our hotel. It's the next hotel over. Our hotel kind of, I think, ends here. Take a shortcut. Yeah, I think they had the barbecue pig thing last night. But the beach is beautiful. One of my favorite things is the pier, because you can just go straight out, jump off the end. It's probably about 12 feet deep off the end of that pier. And there's tons of fish under there. Barracuda, small fish, big fish, medium fish, uh, long skinny fish. I don't know what the names of all these fish are. But uh, yeah, you don't have to really go too far. We did uh, rent a boat. Uh, I think it was uh, $20 per person. We had four people and they took us over to an island way over there and the, the probably one of the best uh, coral reefs I've ever seen in my life and I've been to quite a few places in my life. Lots of activity, fish, coral. So here's our beach bar. I got a drink on the way back. Super friendly staff all the time. Uh, when it comes down to tipping, I like to give them like a dollar tip at the beginning and then maybe skip a drink or two and then give them another tip later. Uh, and that's pretty much a good idea. Another good idea is to uh, try to get 25 cent pieces. Because uh, then you can just, every drink if you want, just keep tipping every, every time you get a drink, if you're gonna drink a lot. Because uh, you can't give them a buck every single time you get a drink, it's just too expensive. But this is the beach.
people love to come here and uh, windsurf or it's not windsurf I think it's called kite surfing sailboarding maybe they have hammocks that are just dangling in the water over there they've got not a whole lot of people use them I'm not sure why and maybe it's too low for people beach volleyball lots and lots of covered uh, shade uh, with these little huts and that helps big time Mini beach ball for kids, I guess. There's another pier way down there, if you can see it. I've met a couple people here from uh, Quebec, and he brought all of his fishing gear. You're allowed up to a certain weight in fishing gear, and he brought a, a bunch of it, and he was fishing off this thing, uh, and he was catching fish, so. fishing too and uh, when he's hungry he'll just jump off there and he'll zoom in and go right under the dock and nail the fish I'm not sure if you guys can see them I've done some water underwater footage of this area and there's millions and millions of fish here and that guy from Quebec he would catch the small fish with one rod and then use that fish as bait for the next rod I didn't see him catch anything big but he says he's caught barracuda off this, off this dock. Got some fishermen here. This dock is lit up at nighttime, so you can walk out here at night. Like I said, it's about nine to 12 feet deep. I've up, dove off this and I hit bottom, so I'm not sure if those are large fish, those dark patches. But there's uh, a grass seaweed on the bottom, and uh, it doesn't come up that often, so that's great. The GoPro. There you go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This guy looks like he might be hungry. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough tour. I've never done one of those before. I've seen other people do them. I thought I would do one. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Ciao.